Welcome to the channel everyone, Black and White Builds 423. So if you haven't noticed, I've seen it all over Instagram already, got a few messages for it. Uh, but the new 2020 Super Duty has finally been revealed, Ford has it out, and now that I am off work, I'm immediately on my way to go see Mike over at John City Ford. We're gonna figure out all the details about it because a lot of people think I'm more of like the Ford side of YouTube. I know there's a couple other bigger Ford channels out there because I'm not massive by any means, especially with most of the Chevy guys are 100,000 plus subscribers, and I'm at 11,000. <laughs> but that's because, you know, my content has been a little short here lately. But we are rushing over to see Mike right now. I'm going to give all the details that I can get as of right now because I've already decided it's going to be a need, not a want. Like, I need the new Super Duty. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, right now I'm in the 2013 Platinum. I did have a 2017 at one point in time, and uh, the EPA came after my truck, so I got rid of it. And then we bought a new house, so I went with an older, cheaper truck. But uh, by the way, for you all that weren't with the channel back when I had my 2017 Platinum, uh, I was one of the first people that had the aluminum body on YouTube and started building everything. Deleted it, showed it on YouTube, and the EPA was not happy, and they fined my mechanic a lot of money. Then they tried finding me, and then they was like, actually, no, we're not going to find you. I'm just going to take your truck if, if you don't fix it. So I got I fixed the truck and got rid of it just to get them off my back for the time. So uh, the new one, well, actually, it's like apparently you got to be like part of the Russian mafia or something now to get you know, EGR deletes, block offs, and all that stuff now. That's what I'm hearing from a lot of mechanics. Uh, a lot of people ask me, hey, well, where do I go to get, you know, this stuff done to my truck? I'm over here like, I, I, I can't help you. I, I don't know. Like, my mechanic got to find a ton of money for it. So he's over here like, hey, good luck. Go, go find someone. Have fun. You're not going to do it because they are cracking down when he did it. Uh, this is, you know, I bought my 2017 at the end of 2017. So it's been roughly a year, year and a half since I've had that truck or since I deleted it, it's been about one year since I deleted that truck. And they try to find him $200,000. Just to let you know how crazy the EPA is getting about it, the people that he's hearing about now that's getting fined for it, they are trying to throw out $450,000 to $500,000 fines. So sorry guys, with this new truck, uh, you won't be seeing me delete it on YouTube. That, that's just not gonna happen. But anyways, let's go ahead and pull up to Ford and get some of the details. Just real quick, we are also about to pull up to Ford. I plan on showing you all, uh, I, now that I'm off work, I am stopping by somewhere. I think we found the wife's new vehicle and she is moving over to Ford. So after we stop by this Ford dealership, because my wife is asking for a used vehicle right now, since she's a full-time student, which I am all about, that takes a lot of stress and pressure off of me to you know make a whole nother brand new vehicle payment, but that leaves a lot of room for that 2020 Super Duty. So we're here at John City Ford. I'm gonna go see Mike and see what he can get for me. There's what my wife really wants. And look, as we're learning about the 2020 Super Duty, we've got the brand new Ranger finally in. Uh -uh. Oh, I already had it unlocked. It's like they knew I was coming. Might have to, if you all want a video on one of these things, please let me know down in the comments below. All right, guys, I am back from the Ford dealership. I talked to my buddy, Mike, and he gave me everything that they know as of right now. I even gave him a Ford warning bag. Hey, buddy, I'm coming in tomorrow. Talk to all your Ford people, all your higher ups. Let me know what you've got for right now. So I've got a possible day of ordering the truck, and then a couple little things here and there, which I don't know how well you can see the screen, but this is the big thing. Ford now has the 7.3 liter coming back out, but it is gas, not diesel. And you can supposedly still have the option for a 6.2, which really blows my mind. I don't know why they'd make two different gas engines. Kind of blows my mind. But anyways, the only thing that is really different is a facelift on these things. Uh, so the Limited now is going to have two different color options for interior. So they are changing the Limited a little bit. But a big thing on that is I am worried about the price range. Price range is not out yet. You can supposedly start your order August 14th. So I kind of told my salesman I'm going to make sure that we're the exact same thing as him because we've had basically the same trucks going back and forth or whatever. And everybody keeps thinking his truck is my truck and it just makes him so bitter. <laughs> so uh, August 4th is the day we plan on ordering them. Obviously, 
you know, that's so far away, I have no idea what's going to happen between now and then. And my wife and I were having a kid, so obviously that will come first. But I do plan on getting the proper promotions to where, you know, this is all just a cakewalk and it should be easy as long as I keep working as hard as I always have. But uh, I am most likely looking at the Platinum, or actually now you can even get a uh, Lariat Sport package to where everything is color matched. So that makes it to where the Platinum basically is just the Lariat, except it's got chrome mirror caps, chrome handles, and a brushed aluminum front grille. But uh, it's supposed to be the most powerful, or the most powerful and the highest tow capacity that Ford's ever made in their history. And the difference that you're going to have uh, performance-wise that I am going to love is 10-speed transmission in it. And then they are supposedly redoing the whole fuel system because uh, the CP4, I believe it is, is what's in the ones now. Somebody correct me down in the comments if I've been correct. Try and go off memory real quick. But they have been known for crapping out on the Fords, and they are redoing that system to where it will have a better fuel delivery system. And the turbo is supposedly becoming bigger to, you know, obviously push more power, be able to tow more weight and everything. So the things that people really want, better fuel system, better transmission, better turbo. It's still the third generation 6.7, but, you know, with, you know, technology and everything, fuel, turbo, transmission, that's the three big things that, you know, all of us diesel people love to upgrade. And Ford's going to do it from the factory from us, which is another huge thing. Yes, obviously the grill looks so much better. It looks, I personally think it looks a lot better. But then at the end of the day, the performance is where they're going to make their money and their big stand saying that this truck is worth the ridiculous price range that I'm sure it's going to be in. And if it goes up too much from what my 2017 was, I probably will not buy it due to they, the 2017 was outrageous as it is. But depending on... The price range i'm sure they can't go up too much because it was i believe it's becoming outrageous and people all in the comments you'll see down in the comments below oh they're expecting a hundred thousand dollars for this truck i don't think it's going to be a hundred thousand dollar truck i think it'll probably be low 80s and then you know if you're someone like me that goes and spends a lot of money at four they're gonna be like okay i'll give it to you for sticker i'm not gonna do any markup but we'll see what comes of that so you've got three different engine options I am probably going for a single wheel F350. It would be cool to have a dually, but I obviously do not tow enough for that. But my uh, 72 power choke will be completed by then to where it will be getting towed to a lot of shows and everything. And then hopefully for 2020 SEMA is what I'm hoping that truck will be at. And then that truck hopefully, but... Anyways, I know it's not a whole lot to tell you for right now, but that is the best I can get out of Ford right now engine order date and the limited which you know i've not been a big fan of the limited other than the cool big badge you put on the center console because I, it's like a ten thousand dollar markup you can technically order a platinum with all the same bells and whistles just the stitching pattern and color of the interior is a little bit different than limited and it's a lot cheaper so i feel like that's kind of a given just by the platinum <laughs> but at the same point in time you can buy a lariat sport now with all the same stuff and still be even cheaper than platinum so yeah that's that's for that and there as soon as i get more information i will definitely be telling you guys because i absolutely love the truck and you know i'm all about buying the new power stroke this out so anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any more information than me please put it down in the description below possibly a link or something because everyone's gonna be like hey you gave me you told me this but where, where's the backup on it so anyways if you enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up stopping by for the first time please subscribe you'll have a great day here we go. I think this could be considered day seven. I don't know. I've kind of lost track. Oh, it looks like my wife just Snapchat me saying she is here to pick me up because we are actually dropping this beast off today. But this one is just for an oil change while the wife and I go uh, possibly vehicle shopping. But I was told, th uh oh, that looks like a bed off of my 6.0. Uh oh, does that mean it is officially started? Do we have official progress? That's what that looks like. Oh, bays are open. Oh man. And the truck is missing. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like the 72 power choke is officially started. They've got the bed off of mine. I'm guessing they're pulling that one in there now. Oh. I bet you there's a cute girl that drives that thing. Nah, it's got, it's probably daddy's money. Hey. 
Did your dad buy that for you? 